Hi guys, this lab is all about shooting restored and backup for like planning and performing backup and restore in your SharePoint Server 2016. So for this, we'll be going to our database machine first and we'll be creating a folder with the name of backups that will hold the backup for us, the backup that we do on our SharePoint machine. Okay, so now here I'm creating a new folder. I'm naming it as backup. I'll share it with my MSSQL server and the second would be my Contoso SharePoint farm okay and here Contoso is my domain okay now you'll see I'll share it with MSSQL server first okay I'll click on add then I'll give it the permission of a read and write, right? Now I'll add it with the Contoso slash SP farm. That is my SharePoint farm so that I can read this access, this particular folder or the back folder from my SharePoint farm. The same read and write access to it. I'll share it, finish, and then I'll move to my SharePoint machine. Okay. Now these are some custom labs that I've created in my own environment where DB would be dedicated as the database machine that holds my SQL, SP would be my SharePoint server that has my SharePoint in it. So I'll go to Central Admin now. I'll go to Backup and Restore. On the I'll configure the backup first that it will hold a maximum of three threads. <coughs> okay, so I'm just checking this thing here. You can increase these threads and I'll back, uh, locate, I'll tell the location as nyc-db1. That's the name of my database server is nyc-db1 slash backup, the folder that we have created. Now I'll start to perform a backup. Okay, I'll click on perform backup. The machines that I'm using are, are the virtual machines. They are responding a bit slow. That's the reason. It's happening. To apologize for that. Performing the backup, I scroll down and uh, go ahead and perform the backup for some of my service applications. That is, control social uh, UPSA, that's user profile synchronization application. I click on share services, then I click on next. Then I use a full backup. Then I click on start backup to start the backup. There are two types of backup, full and differential. Full will go ahead and do the full backup and differential will go ahead and take the difference between the last backup and this backup. So that's full and differential. Okay. So I have to wait till this job is being completed. Once the job is being completed, then I'll move forward and I'll show you how the restore process works. Okay. So let's wait for it to complete. These are all the files that you will be going ahead and will be backing up. I have to wait for it to complete. If you can see that the phase has been completed. Okay, for you. Yes, this phase has been completed. Now I'll go to my application management. I'll try to remove uh, some settings and see whether it will restore for me or not. I'll go to my service applications, manage service applications. <clears throat> I'll remove the control so UPSA service application and, and try to restore it afterwards. I'll click on delete.
and I'll delete all the data associated with this particular application that includes the proxy for this one as well. We try it again. Delete it now. Okay. Now I'll go to restore and I'll see whether the restore works for me or not. Okay, you see the control. So UPSA is not more here. I'll try to restore the process. Restore from a backup to backup that I've done. I'll select the backup that I've done. You can see that there is only one backup because I've just done one backup here. Select the backup that I've done and click on next. Just the details of the backup if you want to see. Now the best part about uh, you know, restoring from a backup in SharePoint is that I can choose what exactly what I need to backup. Right? It's not necessary that I'll backup the complete thing. I can choose from the backup as well. What all do I need to backup? So I won't go ahead and do the complete backup. I'll just go to my shared services and I'll choose Kudosu UPSA from there and I'll backup just Kudosu UPSA from it. Okay. I'll click on next after that. Now again, okay, I don't want it as a new configuration. I want it as the exactly same configuration that was backed up. Okay. In the new configuration, I can uh, go ahead and give different name to the application, give a different administrator if I want. I can make certain changes. If I scroll down, I'll show you. I just mentioned the password for my domain. So see, I can make all these changes if I have chosen the new configuration, but I'm choosing the same configuration here. I'll back it up now. Start restore. Not backing up. Uh, sorry, I'll restore it. Start the restore process. So I'll have to wait till the restore is completed. Once the restore is completed, then I'll go ahead and restore the proxy for my control for UPSA as well. The same way. <coughs> It's waiting for it to be uh, complete now. So as you can see, it's completed. Okay, I'll do the same way for my control show. The UPSA appli application uh, proxy for the same. I'll go ahead and restore this proxy for it. And then I'll show you the Control for UPS service application is back. You can also create your own machines. You just need a license for the virtual machines, and you can go ahead and can create your own machines. I've created my uh, machines for SharePoint database and my domain controller, and I work on them. All the videos that you see are based on these three machines only. Now I'm going ahead and doing the backup for uh, doing the restore for my proxy. application proxy next and same configuration not the new one okay 
stock restore simply. Wait for it to complete as well. Once this has completed, we'll be going to our application management and we'll see whether the UPSA uh, service application and its proxy have been restored or not. Okay. So as you can see, it's completed. Face that you can see it's completed now. Let's go to the application management and see. Manage service applications. So UPSA is there. Thank you guys. Please do like, subscribe and share the videos. Thank you.